Hi, in this video we're gonna see how to transform a wooden box for wine into a really cool personalized gift using some wood burning techniques. So I bought this box from Amazon. It's a really simple wooden box for storing wine. It has a nice locking mechanism. And I'm gonna do some wood burning on it and show you how you can turn this into a really nice gift. So first thing that we need uh, is to sand this. So I sanded it to 240 using sanding paper, this sanding block. And this step, I, I would say it's really important because uh, it makes the surface of the box very nice and smooth. It was not like this originally. And this is gonna help a lot while wood burning because when you have a lot of ridges, it's way easier to, to make mistakes and we don't wanna make mistakes. And now the first step that we're gonna do, the next step uh, is gonna be to use some some carbon paper like this one and we're gonna <clears throat> basically put the design we want to do on the wood in this text if you're good at drawing uh, you can do it yourself i'm gonna do some roses on this uh, but it, i'm not good with drawing so um, this is an alternative for that so let's get to it. I've already cut this shape, which I printed, and it's yeah, just some roses. And we're gonna position the paper here. Try to place it relatively in the middle. Next, try to also place this relatively in the middle. I think something like this can work. and then start drawing the shape. I can actually put it this way so it's easier to see. And we just have to go along the contour. My strategy for this is to, I started on the right side and then I'm gonna do everything on the right side and then do the left side as well. In case you're wondering if you missed a spot or not, you can always just look and see if you, from the light, you can see if you see the trace of the pencil and then it's really easy to figure out what you missed. This is the result. Super happy with it. I also like the positioning, I think I nailed it pretty well and next step is gonna be to do the same thing but here and I got this other design which is gonna fit perfectly here so yeah following the same procedure so here I'm gonna do the same thing basically start on the right side and then come on the left actually I might change my plan because uh, these are intertwined so maybe it's easier to finish everything at once so 
so now we complete this part so we can do this part this is the final result yeah we can see there are some um, marks from the paper here but i think i will just erase them or use some um, sandpaper to get rid of them and the next step will be to put some roses here and on the other end and for this i'm gonna use another pattern so i followed the exact same procedure and the carbon paper is underneath and here's the shape uh, i'm not gonna be able to film this because the position is a bit uncomfortable but it's basically the same thing as before there we go it's gonna be a bit interesting to do the wood burning with this big ridge but this is the result and now the last drawing step will be to do a similar thing on this side and this is the result of the last drawing looking really well so as we saw before there are especially here some marks left from the carbon paper so what we can do regard that is to use some sanding paper and just kind of use it as an eraser of course without not scratching the wood and as you can see they are pretty much gone and we can do the same thing for the others as well so next comes the actual pyrography so i think i'm gonna keep it relatively simple i want to do some shading for the roses to really make them stand out uh, for the leaves i'll probably do some shading as well uh, and these i'm gonna leave them pretty simple same as the stems so yeah for this is really recommended besides the wood burning machine of course to have a ventilator um, which can push the smoke away ideally in the direction of a window this will reduce the smell a lot if you work indoors like me and uh, also a mask because uh, yeah depending on which wood you are burning some of the smoke can be toxic so it's it's really recommended to to wear something great so the burner is set on 355 as you can kind of see here and we can get going Here's how the first face turned out. It looks really good. There's still the um, shading to be done here, but first I want to be able to, I, I want to draw all the contours and then we can proceed with the um, gradients for shading. The lateral sides are also finished now. This is how they look like. First one. The design of this one is a bit more simple and then the second one with two nice roses i couldn't film this because uh was a uh, quite an awkward position working on them but uh, yeah let's now move on with the final part 
which is this frontal design. The front and final design is also completed now. And one interesting thing that I noted is that uh, the texture of the wood is quite different. Uh, for example, if you burn on this side versus if you burn on this side, maybe you can even see here the grains of the wood. And also it, it burns a bit differently, like you have to be more careful. Um, it's easier to burn it overburn it so to say in this side compared to the other so this is always something to take in mind when working with different types of wood or even kind of different sections this is how it looks like so now there's only one more wood burning thing to do which is to basically fill in the um, roses and the leaves and do some shadows to really make them stand out. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do next. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create some shadows uh, basically kind of where the petals meet and this really adds some nice depth effect and what you want to do is kind of create a gradient so go from darker to brighter and um, yeah it's a bit uh, it's a bit uh, takes a bit of time, but the result is really, really worth it. So this is pretty much the process of doing uh, one rose and yeah now uh, we can have a look to how to do the leaves as well and then we just have to repeat this. So for the leaves I'm just gonna add some small details.
just to make them look more realistic. And then I'm gonna apply the same technique, add some shadows. And now we have successfully created one leaf. So yeah, that's pretty much the process and I'm gonna repeat it to all of them. All the leaves and the roses are now completed. Uh, I'm really happy with how it, they turned out. And I will also fill in the, I don't know how you call this in English, but I guess the stems. Um, yeah, so I think this is gonna improve the look a lot because now it looks a bit uh, incompleted. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> with how this turned out and now comes the final step um, which is to apply a finish and generally I think this is a super important step because uh, you want to protect the wood yeah maybe for from the sun rays uh, which will degrade the quality of the drawing uh, with time or yeah basically depending on what you want to do with it and you can use basically any wood finish you want uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some uh, true oil uh, yeah I'm gonna do probably just one coat uh, it's gonna give it a really nice um, aspect definitely a more premium look and uh, yeah let's get to it so what you want to do before uh, and i already did is to make sure to wipe this to take you know any remaining dust or yeah i don't know pieces of burnt wood that can be in there and then basically you can use pretty much any piece of cloth, put some oil on and then start wiping it. So I'm putting some oil here. And then I'm wiping it. Now I'm wiping it here.
and as you can see this oil has a really light effect it's not making the wood any darker um, so this is also something that I like about it uh, you can get you know different colored ones but for now this works really nicely so I'm gonna keep on going put on some more and basically we repeat the process until all surfaces are covered And the work is now complete. I'm not sure how well you can see the difference, but it's visible. Like, for example, this is no finish, and this is with finish. Yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. I think my friend would really like it. And uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the complete process. Uh, I hope you liked it and learned something. And uh, yeah, the nice thing about it is that you can really do any design you want. Uh, you can, you know, fill everything, make abstract stuff, super simplistic stuff, pretty much anything works and the effort will for sure be appreciated so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you next time and uh, take care